Hiya folks, this is Matthew Bielmont here to give you another trailer reaction video. Today we're going to look at Dumbo, which is scheduled for a 2019 release. Now I was wondering, a live action Dumbo? I heard the announcement uh, a few years ago. How would it work? I mean, uh, I heard Michael Bay was uh, producing it, but later I heard that Tim Burton is doing it. Well, I've seen a lot of his works. I like Tim Burton. I bet you do. So, let's give it a watch. So this is Tim Burton's Dumbo. Storks. Look at that. Kids? We're all family here, no matter how small. Sad moment. Michael Keaton. Feather. Danny DeVito. March twenty nineteen. Well, here's what I gotta say about this, so uh, let me do a little bit of online research. One web search later. Ah, so it's based on a children's book by Helen Aberson and illustrated by Harold Pearl. Oh. I see. So, yeah, but I noticed something. Uh, I don't see Timothy the Mouse. No. And I also noticed that uh, the kids are replacing Timothy the Mouse. A little moral support guy. And I also saw that... Uh, there are no crows. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, because by poli today's politically correct standards, the uh, crows are like uh, an insult to black people. I mean, they were, and the way the crows acted and spoke were done by, bl spoke were like those of black people. Even they were, even the songs, the voice actors of the crows were performed by black people. And, Animation would do it again, but in an independent production by Ralph Bakshi for the film Fritz the Cat, where all the people are animals, are depicted as animals, and the black people are depicted as crows. I think that's just racist. I think they didn't want to touch that racist touch there. But the only saving grace was the pink elephants. I'll get onto the pink elephants later. I noticed something that, that, uh, Michael Keaton is in this movie and I'm thinking, is he a villain? I also noticed that uh, Danny DeVito is in, it, is in it as a ringmaster and I can imagine uh, Danny DeVito being called by Tim Burton. Yeah? What? You want me to play a ringmaster? Do I have to wear the top hat? Okay. Uh, first, Batman Returns. Then, Big Fish, and now Dumbo. That's show business. And, yeah, all in all, I did see Alice in Wonderland, the Tim Burton version, and I liked it. And I can't wait to see Dumbo. Now, before you give me any flack, let me say it's an experimentation. It is like, what if? What if 
uh, Tim Burton did in this manner? What if it was done in this style? What if it was executed differently? That's the point, and I'm think and I'm think that uh, give Tim Burton a a chance. No, I'm not a hardcore Tim Burton fan. Anyway, going back to the pink elephants, the pink elephants to me is like the saving grace. And I remember when I was little, I remember having the pink elephant sequence scare me. Pink elephants, pink elephants, pink elephants on parade. And there's like one scene where this elephant, made up of a bunch of elephant heads, starts marching up into the camera, giving a mean, intimidating look on their face, coming closer, and I was like, yeah! I mean, my gosh. It's just like, I mean, there were no villains in this, in the original cartoon. I mean, there were no bad guys. There were just bad ideas. I mean, having, uh, the, uh, visitors pick on Dumbo and and enraging the mother, causing her to go on a rampage and then later get locked up seems uh, kind of a bad idea. It's just sad. The movie touched my heart as a kid. It made me cry. I bet it made you cry as a kid too. I mean... <sighs> anyway, but I but the pink elephant, the elephant's head, it looked intimidating. It almost looked like a villain. I mean, I remember... I was in a reception area when I was a little kid, and I saw this uh, magazine it had like Mickey Mouse as a magician from Sorcerer's Apprentice, and on the side it had like all these villains from various Dis Disney films. We have like the Wicked Queen from Snow White, Captain Hook, Monstro, Captain Hook from Peter Pan, Monstro from Pinocchio, and uh, we have uh, the Maleficent the Dragon from. Uh, Male Sleep Sleeping Beauty, yeah, Male Maleficent in her dragon form, and we had the elephant heads from the pink elephant number. I was thinking, I don't expect it, but something tells me that this scared children in some way. Yeah. okay. But at least I get to see the pink elephants, and something tell me, tells me this trailer is catered to those who watch Greatest Show on Earth, I mean, Tim Burton has a quirky style. Hmm, would I watch it? Yes. Would, do you agree or disagree? Oh, I forgot! I forgot one more thing. Dumbo in live action? How would that work? I mean, we've seen uh, his image in like the flying Dumbo rides in Disney World, and we've seen a uh, uh, meet and greet character version of him, but, uh, Having but uh but live action Dumbo, I mean there was a live action Dumbo, in the Disney Channel series Dumbo Circus. Dumbo Circus, seen an elephant fly. Have you ever seen anything like this? And it's like Dumbo with a bunch of friends and who happen to be animals. Yeah, a bunch of furries, and he, in this version show he talks. This is what he sounds like. Come on, boys and girls, let's give it a shot. Don't worry, we'll have lots of fun. Yeah, I'd like this childish voice, the way he speaks, and the, uh, and, um, this, this played before Welcome to P Pooh Corner. So, uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Dumbo Circus and Welcome to Pooh Corner after they played back to back back in the day when the Disney Channel was a new channel. So, viewers, ask your parents about those shows. <sighs> I'd like to give a nice shout out to YouTube user L'Orielli Mission for thanking me for mentioning Let My Puppets Come on uh, my Happy Time Murders video. So, uh, L'Orielli Mission, thank you. Thank you for uh, for uh, thanking me for mentioning these obscure stuff. And uh, anyway, going back to Dumbo, it's going to be released in 3D, no doubt. Now, Dumbo in 3D? You no know, elephants are known for pooping, so how about, so will elephants poop? I mean, there was this uh, skit on You Can't Do That on Television where someone was uh, 
what this is a skit where there are people are at the movies and they're watching Dumbo. He says, "What are you doing? I'm watching Dumbo in 3D." Yeah, what's it like? Oh my gosh, it's like pooping all over you and like fake poop is going on top of the uh, of the viewer. So make for the fact that elephants poop. Yeah, I remember one time uh, I was uh, on my way to uh, college and uh, I saw a, per a circus parade that's going to happen and there was like a traffic hold up and I saw some elephants and it was like pooping, like a trail of poop and it was like, ugh, disgusting. Animals. They're unpredictable. Animals. So anyway, uh, so I, you think I'm making that up? No, I got that uh, joke that, and description from uh, uh, Andre Meadows, a black nerd. When he heard the announcement, he referenced that you can't do that on television episode. The only thing I'm going to be able to think about is that that elephant is going to poop on top of my head. I just want to go on the record and saying that is not a joke I came up with myself. That was actually a reference to an episode of You Can't Do That on Television, which made the same joke of someone watching Dumbo in 3D and having poop laying on them in the movie theater. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because You Can't Do That on Television is what I refer to as classic Nickelodeon. None of this, hey Arnold, Legend of the Hidden Temple bull****. This is the real Nickelodeon. You can't do that on television. I heard that. That's classic Nick. Put you can't do it on television on Nick Reboot. Yeah. Um, check out uh, his channel and uh, tell him that Matthew Bielmont sent you there. So, anyway... Light fouled up. Huh. What gives? So anyway, this is uh, Matthew B. Lamont saying, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, see ya. Gotta fly. Not literally, but you know what I'm saying. Goodbye.